I you wanna know something funny? I live uh <laughs> I mean everybody knows I live in Harlem, that's fine. Um but I I don't there's this like um big park near me that's like concrete <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say and I've uh, gotten into jumping rope because it's really good for you. Okay. Because I'm trying to like get in shape. Okay. I'm getting in shape. It's happening. Look at you. You're progressive again. Oh, no, it's really like, happening. Jumping rope. Like I've lost five pounds. Okay. But you love that. I'm telling you, like it's gonna happen. I'm focused now. I had a salad today. <laughs> I can't explain how bad my diet is. Like normally, it's so bad. Honestly, listen, I think I, I accepted the other day. I was like, okay, the first part is acceptance. Like, factually, you put on yeah. weight. <laughs> like, like, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, you know what? Align me? Nah. Like, no, no one, you don't need anybody to lie to you, to gaslight you, to help your feelings. Like, look look in the face, Tubby. You know what the fuck you did. Like, <laughs> that's me to me. Like, and I'm like, okay, all right. I, I literally told myself the minute I am, I need to record, um, I'm gonna get my hair done, my braid, like my hair braided on the 15th, so mm -hmm. I could not have weave. So I can, I'm like, I'm gonna go p just pay for a personal trainer and really commit to like working yeah. out like it's something I need to do. Um, I and I need it's to tough. just get ahead in content, like, which I think I will. I just wrote, I just finished writing um, the first piece of content that I am ever going to do that's non intellectual. It's not. It's not educated. It's not advocacy. There's no other purpose of it. You remember when uh, House of Dragons? Did you watch House of Dragons? No, right? I wa No, I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't okay. watch the whole thing. Yeah. You remember when House of Dragons season one was airing that I was making like the the videos on Twitter, the recaps that everybody loved. I was making those. Yeah. So I was like, oh, now I have a YouTube like in season two is coming out. I want to make YouTube videos on season two. Sense. So I was like, I should do a big season one YouTube video breakdown, like a big ass like video essay fun breaking and the whole thing fun. down. And that's fun. That is fun. And you know, after you once told me, after you once said that you need to make a video for the audience, make a video for the algorithm and make a video for you. And so yeah. far I've just been making make videos for the audiences, the audience and videos for the algorithm, but I have yet to make a video for me. And mm -hmm. so I think that's what this, why is my phone going off? Jesus Christ, let me put this on what the fuck? Group chats. Um, blowing and, up right now yeah so now i'm like okay that's gonna that's gonna be fun so once i record that i'm i'm like okay i'm gonna switch gear i'm gonna record that i'm gonna finish this video that i've been working on called um it's gonna be the seven deadly sins of black politicians and mm. i'm gonna finish that and then i could be kind of ahead in content um i'm mind you i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take this week off from Olay and friends and i'll put out a new episode because aaron our, our beloved aaron is having surgery and I would like to not be accused of working Aaron to death while he literally has a surgery. <laughs> Good luck, Aaron. Uh, and now intro the show. Okay. Hey. Guys, it's 10 episodes. It's been 10 episodes. We're still here. We're still doing this. Oh, I'm, I'm actually really proud of us. It's funny. I'm, I'm proud, I'm proud of, of us that we're doing this 10th episode while also you tried to get out of it today. <laughs> I tried, listen, okay, here's the thing. I'm going to be very honest. I tried to get out of basically every episode. <laughs> and it's funny because every time we do an episode, I'm like, wow, I had so much fun. I love doing this. But <laughs> only after it's done. Like, before it happens, I'm like, no. And I actually texted you today. I'm like, I, I don't have anything prepared for today. Uh, like I'm like I'm texting my teacher or something. <laughs> I don't have anything prepared. I'm gonna watch Bridgerton, um, and I'm gonna get an interview for next week, and then uh, we'll do it next week. And me and Aaron both respond just like teachers for real, and we're like, "Are you are you sick? Are you, dead? <laughs> are you physically unable in some way? If not, be fucking like, there." Oh, okay, I'll be there. What time? No, it's funny when I read uh, CJ was reading my boyfriend uh, the conversation and what I said. Um, are you, are you, are you, and I said, you're gonna, you wanna miss, you wanna skip the 10th episode? And CJ was like, why do you have to say it like that? I was like, I have to shame him. <laughs> it really worked too, because when I read that, I was just like, oh, I was so, <laughs> I was like, wow, really? Okay. Fine. <laughs> it's been a united front. There's, wow, if we get, if we get 500 comments, I will, <laughs> uh, I will send you a pin. 
We should have told people like to that for our tenth episode they could have asked us questions or something like put. Oh, you're still so right. Oh well, whatever. that that would have been that would have been so cool. But yet yeah, we have no forethought. Well, that we're sounds gonna like get, Patreon content. I think I think what we're gonna do. Well, I think Martin. an idea that I have going forward is like we both have so many people that we're either friends with or just know from the internet that I think we should just unceremoniously bring people on to talk about whatever they want to talk about. Like, even if it's just a segment for 20 minutes or something yeah. or 15 minutes, uh, okay. activate. Okay, yeah. It's gotta be, people. it's definitely can only be a short period of time. I don't, I, can, I barely want to talk to you for an hour. I don't want to talk yeah. to anybody else. No, 10 <laughs> minutes. 15 yeah. minutes so we can cut it down to 10 minutes. Beautiful. Oh, okay. here we go. We have Richie. He's going to talk to us about what's happening in LA activism for 10 minutes. Oh, Richie Rosita? No. That's funny. Oh, I thought you were talking about a real person once you said At person. first, I thought There's it was another guy named Richie. You said I'm LA activism. Richie Sergienko. Oh, friend, nah. friend of the show. Yeah, he's a good oh, guy. Oh, friend. Of, you're your friend. I know Richie Rosita. He's friend of the show. <laughs> well, they're. If, they're it's friends. not beef. I don't know the man. It's just, I don't want people to be like, align me as beef. It's I literally beef. don't know this person. Oh God, you beef with everybody. I have beef with um, nobody. I still also have your Gengar, which I repackaged after I used it. Yes, my, my Gengar pin that you wore. I wore it one time. I didn't think you were going to see. It was an accident. <laughs> and I did see it. And I, did. I mean, it wasn't an accident. And I did and it I, on purpose. Did I? Have I gotten you a Psyduck before? Or have I like imagined that? Or do I just think no, I got you a Psyduck? No, I have no Psyduck. I do have a lot of Psyduck stuff, though. I have this planter. Oh, awesome. I feel like I send you my my algorithm on Instagram, y'all. You send me everything. Sex with Psy Psyduck, purely because I sent Alex Psyduck one year, and it just it's, now it's, I see Psyducks it's, all the time because the more I every time I see it, I send it to Alex, and that reinforces to the algorithm that I obviously love Psyduck, but it's really Alex who loves Psyduck. It is me. He's my favorite. Well, he's we have a lot in common. I think that's so funny, and it's it's true. I love that Gengar is my. So I was, but okay. So I'm jumping rope a lot more. Oh, yeah, there's Gengar. See, I knew. See, I clocked it. I know things. You know what I mean? I saw the pin. See, everybody <laughs> says that I'm not thoughtful. I'm very, very thoughtful. Uh, He's like, I saw the pin, and then I wore it. <laughs> I needed still have my match home in my possession. <laughs> matched it. I didn't think you would see it. And some... <laughs> this is the thing. You, like, detective, like, zoomed in. Um, no, it was okay. literally you were flexing it in the video. Oh, I like, like, the video. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally of a video of you. Oh, literally, it. like, yeah, look at this pin I've got. It's sick. <laughs> that yeah, I was like, mind. look at him. I'm like, like, you don't even like Gengar. You're a Psyduck person. What is yeah, this? That's like, uh, that reminds me of like representing someone who is like oh yeah i did identify myself in the photo array for the police and you're like <laughs> okay why? well this is gonna be a rough case for us <laughs> oh okay so what are we oh, talking I'm about jumping rope. i'm jumping rope it's really good for your cardiovascular health i'm really i am so unathletic it's actually it's so embarrassing oh trust me i'm athletically i'm now. so unathletic and it makes me feel bad because it may you know, men put a lot of stop. like emphasis into, you know, being athletic and stuff. And I just feel embarrassed, like, because I'm just not a super athletic. I'm strong, but I'm not in any way. I just feel nobody cares. Like, as, as adults, no, nobody sensible cares. Like, your, yeah. your, your, your gal but doesn't care. You ever, but you still kind of get into those situations, I feel, where you get, you feel like a little kid again. Like I, like I was at the park, I was literally at the park this weekend for Memorial Day weekend. And I went, and this is like one of those things. My friend's like, come to Sheep's Meadow in Central Park. We're all going to be there. And it's all these people I don't know, but it's my friend's birthday. And obviously I don't want to go. I hate being at the I don't want to go. Do that. I hate it. I don't want to go. But this is my friend. So I go, I'm going to, I'm like, I'll go for 90 minutes. If it was Ole, she'd go for 25 minutes. <laughs> If, if that i'm glad you know like i'm i don't know if y'all know this about the audience but i'm like the queen of irish exiting oh like, my god every, yeah. the queen you tell me this i must irish exit like yeah. i don't there's something about 
telling someone bye that feels offensive to my autonomy. <laughs> like, I have to it's be very, there. it is very anxiety provoking. It's nice to have friendships with people where you can do that, where you can like leave and nobody complains. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, they, it's like you're Batman or something. Yeah. It's like, I hate when I come I'm, across like, that's a thing that I, we, 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 you, I'm going to let you go back to Central Park in a second, a quick little tangent. That's a thing I've been realized. And I was having this conversation with my, my best friends, Dave's, you know, it's not that I'm not making, or it's not even like, oh, I can't do new people or new friends at this point in my life. No, I actually can do, I make new friends all the time in terms of the, the things that I do, right? Like, like, oh, especially in like my content creation world or my media world or people or activism world or people that I have like things in common with to talk to. What I'm actually having a hard time dealing with now, I think at 30 and so now I guess in my 30s is the casual friendships of my 20s, like maintaining those. Because what I realize, what I'm, and this is going to sound crazy, but what I realize is my casual friends were my casual friends because they're not my favorite friends. <laughs> the reason why you're not my tier one dog, you're not my best friend. It's because you're not my, I don't have, I don't, you're like, you're, you're, I don't have as much to talk to you. I'm not, I, we're not as close. I don't have as much in common with you. And so now like you add with time, I think it's like, I have these people that I'm technically, you've been frank because they're your casual friends. They're like people you're cool with, but in your twenties and your teens, you call everybody your fucking friend. Right. But like when in actuality, y'all are cool. I don't know. We don't have shit to talk about i don't know you like that it's like and now i am i keep finding myself in this place where people who i am only casual friends with like want to kick it or want to that and it's uncomfortable like it's awkward because like i don't have we have nothing to talk about and a lot of like what i'm realizing too is if you don't have an interest in like what's going on in the world, which like a lot of people don't, if you don't want to talk about politics or you don't have like an analysis or you don't do like sociopolitical thought on, on shit or whatever, and you like don't care about like my career or what's going on, you know what I mean, job I can't talk or I can't have like a deep, you're not my close friend for me to have like a deep conversation about like what, like my, my job, my partner, my vision for what we really don't have shit to talk about. It really be like, pulling fucking teeth and i'm really realizing that like i've had at least at least a handful of interactions now with like people i'm cool like good good people nice people nothing wrong but it's just like we don't need to kick it like why do we even keep trying to do these things this is rough on me you know what i mean and it's it's <laughs> it's all like worsening my and, and the worst part is like i have anxiety and adhd so i ruminate on things i will feel weird about the interaction or whatever have you and it ends up taking so much more emotional time for me than even the time that it took to physically do whatever the interaction was because now i'm just like oh am i a boring bitch am i don't i don't do i not know how to like am i not and you know what i realized too i'm genuine i have a friend who i just it took me like years like one of my other friends had to go out with us and finally point to me and be like do you know she's fucking boring like you're bored to death like that's what i'm like Oh my God, I am bored to death, but I didn't realize, I didn't realize that I could like not be friends with somebody, not because they're a bad person or anything's wrong with them. It's just like, dog, I find you boring. Like, I don't find this interesting. Like, I don't like you're, I like you. You like me. You're a nice person. Nothing, nothing is wrong, but I'm genuinely not interested. Like the amount of times my eyes have glazed <laughs> over talk, trying to like, because I feel like a bad person, like judging myself if I'm like, oh, am I not interested yeah. in what they've and got? But I'm not actually. actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you're yeah. evil. Um, so I'm struggling, Alex. I, I really i am struggling. I just want to talk to a, like. I think it's a normal thing to kind of lose contact with people. And... No, but that's the thing. I'm not losing contact. They don't want to lose fucking <laughs> yeah. contact, Alex. They well, want to yeah, hang yeah. out. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. Be less available, I guess. I feel like I used to be so worried when I was younger about doing everything and about being included. And now I'm just like, don't want to be included almost. Like, I'd love to get the invite, but I don't want to go. I, I'm also cool with not fully get cool getting the invite. I'm fully cool with not getting the invite. But I, I don't want to go. Because when people give I, you an invite, they start pressuring you to be there. Yeah. Well, so like this party that I went to, it was my friend's, you know, birthday. And I didn't know. Basically, I, I knew a few people there. I didn't know the majority of the people there, which is fine. That's not a big deal. But it's that sometimes I don't understand when I'm in a situation like that, where I think 
because my preference is like what's the what's the true maximum amount of people that you can hang out with and still have like a good time like really and i know everybody's different but i feel like it's like six it's it depends it it truly entirely depends on who the people are yeah it like truly yeah. depends because like technically speaking right like i arrange only in friends like every week and it's six people and yeah. i always have a blast because they're people right. i've curated that i like want to talk to like i have something to talk right. to you about right but right. it's like if you have honestly even if i have like say there are two people there are two people that I would talk to, like I could talk to, but there yeah. are four people I don't know to be able to trust them from a fucking hole in the wall. And then, then it doesn't matter that those two people are like, this whole thing is uncomfortable. And in fact, the four people are now overpowering. And now I have to analyze the two people. Yeah. <laughs> Originally, like, the ratio, are you weird, dude? The ratio. Yeah. So like in this situation, you know, the ratio wasn't great for me. It was most of the people I didn't know. I don't love that. I I try to be sociable, but it's hard because I'm also like a ruminator person. So my default in situations with people that I don't know is not to be as social because I don't want to ruminate about the thing. Like literally, literally the conversation that I had that I thought about for three days for the <laughs> last three days was the following. Uh, my friend's roommate who I know and who kind of knows that I'm a weird guy. So like it's fine, but she's Palestinian. Yeah. And she was living in the West Bank for a little while. Her family's there. And I was like, uh, I didn't know she was living in the West Bank. I thought she was in New York. And I said, oh, uh, and she's like, yeah, you know, I left a few months ago. I was like, S not so good over there right now. <laughs> Why the fuck did I say that? so fucking like that's like a, that's like a that's like a skit a sitcom funny like. yeah it's like there's a there is a there is a man it is my dad who lives inside my brain and he controls everything that i do and say in social interactions that's and so funny. the worst thing that you could say and i was just like why did i say that why did i, I say i that? told a brown girl one time um i don't remember what, like what what she was but i remember telling a brown girl like she looked like jasmine and she and she did tell me that was racist <laughs> like, like but i swear to god she but did though she did look like her yeah uh, i was like yeah. no one's dissing you this you, you is like all... you're this is the fit and everything <laughs> like this is you have a little more runway with that than i do i you know? if you saw how she looked at me i didn't have that runway i was blown too because i was like hmm, i could have <laughs> always sworn i had a lot of latitude <laughs> like, it's, it's it is dangerous territory for me i gotta be honest whenever <laughs> i whenever a person of color actually looks like someone else i'm always like i can't say this doesn't matter it could be and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm glad you decided to have sense dead ringer lookalike for this person like for mm -hmm. real i cannot say it i cannot say it. and i know that and i'm and glad that's okay know. and i made and, people... and it's that knowing that that'll save you a lot of heartache in the future yeah and believe me this is years of learning hard lessons <laughs> that's so funny i love i love that you then ruminated on it for three days yeah and i just thought and it made me feel that feeling that's sort of like you know i'm a little uncomfortable i know it's good to to socialize or whatever but it was kind of like i really care about this person which is why i went to this thing and like stayed and i don't know if that always gets through where it's like hey i'm here because you asked me to come and i care about you and i'm kind of here for you yeah. but it's sort of annoying not to be like so self-involved but it's like you know we had like a six minute conversation like do you need me to be there for three hours you know what i mean like yeah. Larry David, it's it made me feel like Larry David, or Larry David, like you know, I swear to God, I swear to God, that's what I was gonna say. It reminded me of when you said it. I was gonna say when I said it, yeah. it reminded me like just like a yeah. show. That's exactly what's so was good over there. <laughs> it's fucking that's crazy. exactly what I was gonna say, and that's hilarious. That's actually so good. That's such, such jokes. <laughs> like, think about it for for all that it emotionally cost you in the moment. Our our audience are now we're having fun, content. yeah, of yes. course. That's and that's why it's, that's who I do it for at the end of the day. Listen, I think sometimes, sometimes like I'm out in the world and I'd be like, this is why I like to be home. <laughs> like, I, like, I think about things yeah. just like, I would prefer to be in my crib. Like, I, re I really would. And I, you know, I'm, I'm trying. Like, sometimes I have really good, like, pleasant social interactions. 
but mostly they're either with my closest friends, like my closest friends, or people who like care about the things that I care about, or like, you know what I mean, are into the things that I'm into, or like that I want to talk about. If you're like, what I have, I have a lot of people who I've known my, like for a long time, or known throughout my life, especially growing up, that like have respect for like where they perceive me as coming like where they perceive like oh where you've come or how far you've come or what you're doing in your career like like they have respect for like how successful you appear to be at it but they don't actually substantively care about the thing or recognize it as like important so, like they see like i have people who think of you like oh you activist blackity black black like they don't they don't <laughs> you know what i mean like they 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 don't care substantively <laughs> about any of the things like if i go to go talk about it my friends be like yeah me you know or like you know, I, what I'll realize too, especially when you, I guess, this, when you see the world the way that we do, when I have talks with like, I guess, regular people or normies, like my casual normie people, they say, even when we do, they do technically talk about something that maybe I'd have something to contribute, like you as a human, like I'm an adult, I'm thinking about a future or raising kids or a life or where you move, but the shit that they say will blow minds and I will not have the, like I realized the gap on their understanding versus what I think of this issue is so far, I can't really bridge it. So I have nothing to contribute because I don't want to start like a fight or a, like an educational yeah. discourse or a debate. And so it's like, like I was uh, hanging out with some casual friends, long-term casual friends, a long-time casual friends the other day. And they were like, um, oh, talking about like how, you know, they couldn't raise a family in New York because crime in this place and i'm like oh my god <laughs> and then you know what i mean or they're like oh like i don't care about whatever real political like issue of like when people like sometimes people will tell me like even like friends will tell you they're gonna go move to this place and i'll be like oh you know they don't have any rights there like they actually like this huge thing and they'll be like i don't care like i found an apartment like i don't like and that's just like hmm Oh, he's like that. Like technically, I like technically, I think about moving. I think about buying a house. I bubble, but the things that I consider or I think that matter when I have the discussion are so different than my like normie peep friends. Like what they sure. think of, it's just like we're just like here. They're like, oh my god, like we can do rich bougie things. Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, they're like, oh, I want to move here because I want to do this rich bougie thing or go to these bougie schools. And I'll and I'll be like, oh. I think NYPD really don't fuck with me in New York City because I'd be thinking about moving somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> like, like those are. Yeah, and they their mental health is probably much better for it. <laughs> yeah, no, like, every I'm time I'm like, this. oh, I don't know if I want to go to war with this person today. Son, like, no, dead ass. But but the problem is too, like it it's just like some. I feel sometimes a lot of my conversations are. I feel like I'm I'm always being forced to be like an educator, like especially because people see you as that's what you do in your life, or they see that that's what you make your videos. Like they get you in real life, and they can't wait to like make you like download your video to them in real life and explain the thing. And yeah. I'm like, I swear to God, at my boy, at my boyfriend's um friend's wedding the other day, in in some like a guest at the wedding like followed me and was like, it's like two in the morning, drunk. I'm drunk. They're trying to like interview me on bail reform and i'm like i could kill myself like, I, 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 yeah. I, I don't want that's to like sometimes i'm like I'd be so that's exhausted. what the video is for listen really and you know what's the worst when someone you know what i hate people who know you personally so they like come to hit you up or ask you about something that they see you have fucking content on uh, you know what i mean that you talk about or that you educate people on and so they hit you up to like ask you to like teach them it but they don't actually want you to because when you be like oh here's the thing i wrote or here's the the video that clearly explains it what they actually mean is they want to debate you personally like they think like they want to come and like take advantage of this like special privilege they perceive themselves as having versus the people in your comments trying to disrespect you and debate you and act like they're equal of equal intelligence like oh i know you so now i'll get to assert that and you have to like give me the grace and deal with me like a person you know and i'm just like i want to jump off a cliff i would like and i want to take you with me first i'd like to kick you <laughs> <How's that? laughs> i don't yeah i mean i do not participate in debates with literally anyone when <laughs> i'm not even kidding like i just i hate it i don't do it i'm so shocked that it's such a popular thing even to this day on the internet that it's like a whole genre of content 
that people consume and that they like. It's it, frankly, it's shocking to me because of how annoying it is. Is that Raheem? Raheem? Did you hear him? No. You don't see him growling and being threatening and menacing? Uh, I think he's just defending I think you're you're invading his personal space and he's defending himself. I heard that and that was definitely shocking. Aaron, thank you. Thank you so much. Ma'am, who are you becoming? Don't be like, don't let your sister bring this out of you. This isn't nice. If you know how timid, how he's a killer. Is, Asada, please don't come up here. He's very upset. Asada, don't come up here. Please don't come up here with your cone head. Please don't <laughs> jump up here. I apologize. Asada, pss, 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 pss. come here. I'm so sorry. Why are you so angry? Did y'all hear him? I can't hear him. Yeah, he's hissing. He's hissing right now. What's that all about? He's pissed. He's sick of this shit. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going back up. Yeah, CJ's coming to come get him. <laughs> oh no, Raheem. So did you hear what Pope Francis said about gay people? <laughs> it was not Why chill. Do we still have popes? What do we Why mean? do we still have popes? It's, it's I, because it's they're really crazy are, to me. Ooh, they wear yeah. cool outfits. I'm it's crazy to me how educated people continue to believe in religion. That's a, I know that's a hot day. Trouble for that one. I think the it's only just thing like, that really pisses me off is I have a friend who is becoming more religious, which I don't love, but I think it's like most people who even follow some kind of religious practice pick and choose the things that they like, even the most devout people, right? And I just feel like if you're picking and choosing what you like, then isn't it mostly just like a community thing? It's like having a community and also mindfulness. Like a lot of it is like repetition, having a community of people you hang out with and are around that have maybe shared values and then like meditation. Like th that is mostly what it is, it seems, for modern religion. If, if I can think, if we can talk about religion, we can get in trouble. trouble because... I'm not an atheist. I just don't really... I was a religious practice. I was raised in a constitutionally Christian nation, right? Like, so I'm a, my parents are Jehovah's Witness. And and so I believe, I, I I recognize how one can believe. Like, I believe in God. I believe in, in Jesus or whatever. But that's because, but I know intellectually, I know that's because niggas indoctrinated me into believing in it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, 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 and it's not, like, is that, you know what I hate? I really just hate the authority at which, like, people talk about religion or like talk about what's gonna happen and you so you literally don't fucking know like i hate i hate when i feel like religion is like the ultimate gaslight it makes you feel crazy because the intensity with what you ever like watch a serious con man or a pathological liar and you don't know whether or not they were they believe the con like because you're like i know you, you you have to know i can see that you know you lying you know what i mean or this don't make no fucking sense but you believe it. And that's kind of like how religion and pastors and how people give it up with all these things. It's just like, why don't you see that just like everything else on earth, every school of thought with everything, the same way, you know, man made every other school of thought. And you can recognize there can be valuable schools of thought. I believe in lots of things that I don't believe God made. I don't believe God created abolition. You know what I mean? Like, or I, but it's just the way that people... You know, I'm gonna get canceled. Let's just let's religion. Just, let's just religion on. is the ultimate gaslight. Is what Christianity is what Karl Marx said. Or it's just nuts. Especially he said like that. he said, religion like, is the ultimate gaslight. Especially with how black people carry on, like there's nothing else. I can't think of anything else that you could literally fucking know that slave masters and colonizers and oppressors literally gave you while they were actively keeping you your freedom your rights and anything including being able to read or anything else that they thought might be good for you but they gave you this religion and you're just sure yep that's god like just excuse the oh i, I just can't fucking it don't make a lick of fucking sense i <laughs> uh, and and like again people die hard about it they well whatever and they oh and they and it's just crazy like people spend their whole lives torturing themselves over shit that's just whatever I, you know, I think that it brings a lot of peace to people. I think that's the main thing. It's kind but of, but it doesn't though. Most, but it doesn't. Like anybody who actually has grown up in any religion, 
Mm-hmm. You, you all you could find is examples of actually no peace, judgment, and and, <laughs> and people like it's the yeah, exact true. opposite of people feeling tortured and trying to walk in line with some shit and blah blah blah. No, though, like mm-hmm. religion actually is just a source of fucking destruction and all kind of foolishness and usually some bigotry and some nonsense and a whole. And that doesn't mean that's not to say that everybody who believes in a religion or is themselves or bad none of that. They are. I'm, that's what I'm. I'm saying. obviously not They're saying evil. that. And again. And we was I'm not saying, like I said, I believe in God too. Believe her down. I, Alex, I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Okay? <laughs> like, think- I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, innately, like, <sighs> whatever. Let, let, let's move on. Let's move on. We're, Wait, hold on. We're, we're, we're we'll move on. We'll move on. I don't think you're saying anything that's crazy or that, or that bad. I just. You're not black. You're not black. You don't think. Oh, true, I just told true, you true. I'm from a constitutionally Christian nation. Oh, yeah. You don't you're think I'm saying trouble. anything crazy, but yeah. I know a whole nation full of people you're in trouble who with think I'm saying nut shit. You got to get your soul in order because you're in trouble with the Lord. Listen, I oh. like I believe in God. I just don't believe that anybody, anybody on this earth or any of their like schools of thought have any definitive idea what God wanted, approves of, how we came to be or anything. We literally don't know. These are the questions of the world. Like, I hate the idea that anybody is telling you like adamantly and arrogantly and telling you to live your whole life by it and stuff. What they say is going to, what they say is going to happen after you die and what they, you literally don't fucking know. I know that you don't fucking no so that's the thing that i find so irksome like a whole world and generations and civilization and wars and all kind of strife over make-believe shit and no one's allowed to say that because everybody believes everybody on the whole globe has been so committed and invested in religion and the indoctrination of believing in religion just every different culture across the fucking globe has been fucking drinking the religion of some kind juice for so long that it's like the 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 status quo or what's acceptable in the world is to uh, is to always give credence to like, yeah, like, yeah, you got to be like religiously tolerant and respectful. And so you just got to act like it's all making perfect sense. And it's crazy to me. It's like you got to you have to like be respectful. Like you got to basically cede the fort to people's schools of thought that they believe will give them the rights to dictate the world around them. Like I'm supposed to just like quietly act like. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely no holes here in any of it. Like, this thought process is definitely for sure. You know, that's... Mm, I, can, I I, not... say, can I just say that I think that God is a woman? You froze this entire... You were frozen that entire time. I didn't hear anything after, can I just say, but now I see a black power fist, and that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like it literally you were frozen you said can i just say it froze you unfroze and had a black power fist and i know i need to not be a part of foolishness there's so many listen there's so many things like i find religious conversations just so fucking like the whole like just so stupid like even when oh you know what's one again it's gonna sound so whatever because people take this shit so seriously but like whenever um people are arguing about the race of jesus or god <laughs> or the race of god mexican Oh my god! They just, I'm just, just like, oh fuck me! But what I always find funny, like for me, like whenever, like the whole God is black thing, I always understand why white people believe that they're in their mind God is white, right? Like not because of anything historically backs that up or geographically. Just because it's going really good for white. <laughs> it's going really fucking well for white yeah, people. Like for anytime sure. anybody try to tell me God is black, I'd be like, you know, when, when, if I ruled. <laughs> If I were in charge, right, of any institution, if any place, if any community, it would be a really nice place for black Bahamian women. You know what I mean? Like, that would be a really nice place for black people or for people like me, people who I share, you know? Usually that's what happens. Home court, you know, when it's the home team, you get a home team advantage. I'd be like, you know, when I look around civilization <laughs> the world that was like, civilization wait that was civilization okay i'm like i'm like black god <laughs> sure sat by and let a lot of shit rock like i don't fucking know look at you look at you you wanted this religion conversation and when i get when i get a sense I think of the final thing right, i'll look say at you. is islam is the only true religion <laughs> and <laughs> we should all say the shahada and mercy be upon the prophet if Alex just said anything that's going to get us in trouble, I would just like to... We're not going to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. The, only, the, the, the truest shooters is the Muslim community. Those are the truest shooters. And I don't mean that in any kind of 
politically incorrect way. I just mean those they they ride. I'm just not into religion, uh, and I don't mean they that ride. to you know. I like I love a lot of people who are into religion. I come from a place where people are into religion. My mom is super. Um, my brother's in rabbinical school. Like, I'm all surrounded by people who are really into religion. I'm just not into it. I pass. It, it, yeah, no, I don't. And like, and I've. But, I know so many people. <laughs> I have like friends who have literally actively fucking up their lives based on like their belief in religion. Like, like I swear to you, I I I know them. Like I know. Watching them actively just, and you're just like. You're you talking about me because I don't believe in God and you're <laughs> trying to save my soul because you are a, a beautiful bohemian Christian woman. <laughs> I am not. And that's where we're ending it. Um, okay, wait. So the reason Christian. <laughs> so the reason I brought this up was because Pope Francis was asked if there would ever be like women in the, you know, like women priests, basically. And the thing is weird is that he's been a pretty progressive guy for the Catholic church. Generally, he said some good stuff and he's also Jesuit and Je the Jesuits are like also pretty progressive as far as religious orders go. And I went to a Jesuit college and um, he literally used some Italian word that basically is like the F slur. And he's like, oh, there's too much of this f slur going on but it wasn't like the word not it wasn't the the f slur it was like ness it was blank ness <laughs> like nothing about the pope not being like does surprises me like when people start calling people who like innately their institution is not progressive and then they act like oh we got a progressive one is like he said, he said like one good. Anybody who wants to be a fucking <laughs> That pope, he immediately walked back. <laughs> like, it's just like, no. Listen, the point is that To me, I think it's back. funny that we have this archaic institution like the Catholic Church, right? That has these popes that are representative thing. And like nobody noticed that as the public perception, like as times change, the like, it's been convenient to me the last several popes. Everyone's like, oh, this one's more this one's it. It's like, yeah, they're, they're branding, boy. they're PR. They have to be because of the time. Great PR. He's got great PR. I'm doing PR for him. Look at Aaron. Aaron do you have thoughts on the Catholic Church? No, I just, I, I just wanted to have a stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I will keep ranting about it. Are you telling us to, we're gonna keep talking about? And they, Alex always does this. I'd be like, let's it'll, not it'll fill another hour. I'd be like, Alex, <laughs> let's not do this. Let's not talk about this thing. And Alex, be like, like, oh, no, okay, but like, a little let's more talk about, about it because I do want to get into this. I'm okay, gonna, yeah, that's fine. I'm anyway, we love. I think. I think what the main takeaway is: we love religion. We love the Pope, and we love everything <laughs> he's doing, and we love everything he's saying. <laughs> and he's LA bringing back anything more really, to say, the two thousands. The two thousands are back. The fashion is back. The homophobia is back. <laughs> it's amazing. It never left. It never left. So it Aaron never put in left. our little doc. This is funny. In our little I... doc, he put why mm -hmm. Lolo doesn't like fun movies. That's not true. This is propaganda. He's saying because I tweeted that I thought the new Mad Max movie Furiosa was meh never, is what I said. Never even heard of it. I know you have shitty movie taste, so I don't have shitty movie taste. Well, so far you've taken, you know, I'm not even. I'm Go not ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna, I was gonna start, but then remember, I'm, I, I said I was gonna leave the propaganda in the Spider Verse alone, because you know you took me to see that, and then you died on on the hill that the Challengers was the greatest cinematic masterpiece you ever saw in your life. I didn't. I, I. Okay, that's that is an over exaggeration. I just enjoyed. Lies. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Look at this there's an over exaggeration we, let's go pull up alex's tweets hi kitty that mookie or Maisie? i can never Oops. tell the difference between your mookie. cats hey mookie i should have known because Maisie's always screaming oh mookie's so cute um, I, I tried to bring you to raheem, raheem in a chill nice way but you saw he was being a demon yes he's <laughs> like you know what's real fucked up like raheem been doing me extra like the only way for raheem to be happy is if we like ostracize and alienate asada for like three hours of the day like where he wants to come in like the room by himself or whatever have you and like this morning when i had to take asada to the vet to be spayed at seven this morning so she was gone all day raheem was 
ecstatic. Like he literally immediately it was like he was like mm, let me come up under you mommy let me be with you all day oh you're so good aren't you a good mother oh like it was like when you're trying to incentivize good behavior he's like yes yes just do more of this do more of throwing her out the house I, then i brought her back this him <laughs> <laughs> like i'm like Reem, please stop being a dickhead i honestly think raheem is sexist because any other time we've had like male cats for him to like bond with or another cat sitting or friends cats or whatever have you he eventually will become like oh you want to be with them you want to have it's never been this like where he's friends with them but he still wants you to be mean to them <laughs> like he's cool with her he just doesn't enjoy me and her having a relationship it's like he's a real jealous cat but what i think is so fucked up is how are you you want my affection to yourself you're that you're so jealous about me sharing it with her that you don't want any of my affection and you're gonna beat me up now you're gonna punch me, Raheem. Like, isn't that crazy? You're gonna punch your mother because I'm playing with betrayed. <laughs> He's been betrayed. That's um, what he thinks. Anyway, yeah, I don't like fun movies. Apparently, that's not true. I love fun. I like fun. I love the movies. I love having fun at the movies. And everybody got mad at me on Twitter because I said did, that this movie. Did you was... like Once Upon a Time in in Hollywood? Uh, not really. Thank. Oh, I was so I was so scared. Good. I'm Good. not a no, huge. I'm not right a huge answer. Tarantino fan. Good. I'm happy I, to hear that. I think Jackie Brown is good, and I like Pulp Fiction. Um, you know, I, I have yet to see Pulp Fiction to this That's day. crazy. Pulp Fiction is like a classic. Uh, I but I don't love... I, lo I don't like a lot that he does. It's so weird. When someone becomes that famous of a director, it's hard... I don't know. It's hard to judge them anymore because their stuff is all like so... Everything Tarantino does is so Tarantino-like that it becomes like a parody of itself almost <laughs> you know yeah, once upon a time in hollywood is no i didn't i no. didn't like once upon a time. good good i'm glad all right then you get a pass we'll stop slandering you for let's the go you've, you've earned your freedom all right we got reddit posts from Le our legal advice here sat down on my friend's macbook and broke it offered to pay her the money for it but now she wants more because she was upgrading anyway. So it's <laughs> this or she will sue me in small claims court. Oh, fuck that Is bitch. the title of this post. <laughs> I had some of my friends over at my house and one of my friends invited one of her other friends to come over. She had her MacBook on my couch and I sat down on it and broke it. Since it was completely my fault, I offered to pay her the money for it and she agreed. She got it three years ago and it cost $2,200 at the time. I told her I'd wire I'd wire you the money in a week to her bank account. She now emailed me saying that as per our conversation, she's expecting the twenty seven hundred that I have agreed for. Five hundred more dollars? I would curse that dirty bitch. You know out. what's crazy too? What's really evil is that she offered her like the the retail value and of, I was it. Like, of this old ass laptop like in the first place. Right like now, she... you could probably buy the same laptop on eBay for probably a thousand bucks or something like that i would block her number she's not first of this all is... you bum bitch like you're not suing me at all you've had this old computer you talking a bunch of shit you trying to hit a lick i would block her fuck the friendship <laughs> i'm so, so serious she continues i didn't know why she added the extra money so i got her number from my friend and called her oh, to find her telling me She's now expecting me to pay for her new upgraded MacBook since she was upgrading anyway. She said if I don't agree to do that, she'll be suing me in small claims court. Let her do it. She's not going to fucking do sue. it and get nothing. Let her do it. She's not going to fucking, like... This is so evil. Like, why are people like this? This is There's a comment under the post that says, you don't pay either of those amounts. You pay the depreciated value of the MacBook. Let's go. As of the date, your butt sat on it and not a dime more. That's what I'm saying. It was already generous for her. To I wasn't offer. gonna do shit after yeah. you say that bullshit to me because you're a fucking shiesty shit, like shiesty bitch. And now that I see you shiesty like that, I would believe that the computer was broke the whole time and you had it on the fucking couch for us to sit on you bum shiesty bitch. That's what I would think at this point. <laughs> I would think it was no, honestly, that gives like a bitch who be trying to hit a lick. It, it sounds like a fucking scammer, like. Oh, like she trapped the 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 MacBook on the couch, and she's like, "Someone's gonna sit on this." I ever told y'all about the story, but I, I I told you the story about the time the guy jumped in front of my car, right? <laughs> no, I didn't tell you that. No, y'all think people don't do shit like that? 
out in law school, I'm driving home, and I, I have a, I'm right when I'm getting ready to turn into the corner into my apartment. This guy just fucking like I swear to God, like I stop it, and st- he instead of walk start turning in the dread, he literally just throws himself on the ground, like throws him to collapse in front of my car. So I'm like, "Are you good, sir?" Like, and he's like, "Oh, oh, like you know this is dramatic." I did not hit him. You know the right guy. He's like, "Oh." oh like call the police (laughs) and i'm like get the fuck out of here right so like i drive off i drive off i'm searching for parking and i hear all kind of fucking police sirens and i'm like i know you fucking lying right i go back over there and i see like he's called all the police he's there like oh i've been oh making this whole scene all the police I did not hit him. They had to get fucking showed us the like surveillance footage, all this. Oh my trauma, god! Police, That's blah, blah, blah. fucking people crazy. do shit like that. And a guy, and a woman did that to a woman. Actually, my big sister did hit her like in the windshield because she literally jumped in gotcha. front of my big sister's moving is, car to try to. People do a hundred percent do it's shit a like big, that. It's actually a huge issue in like Eastern Europe, and it's so common that everyone there like part of the reason that you always see these dash cam videos that are from like somewhere in the eastern block is because it's a very common thing over there for people to do this scam like to pretend to jump in like to to pretend to get hit or jump in front of someone's car or something this is an episode of better call Saul. this is a this is a slipping jimmy scheme slipping jimmy (laughs) also honestly like that's got to be one of the worst ways to go because it's so brutal if you actually do get hit by a car it's so horrible i asked my mom my mom was an icu nurse for 40 years and i asked her what's the worst way to die and she said getting hit by a car is the worst way to die like getting run over by a car because she saw people in the icu who got ran over who came into the icu still alive after getting run over and they died but they 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 lived for a long That's time. Okay. Yeah. You know, so guys, listen, don't jump. I, I really hope they figure out immortality before I go. Like I really Why? You want to be die. alive forever? I am terrified of that of death. Why? See? Oh, you know what? This episode comes full circle. You're scared of death because you don't believe in Jesus Christ. Oh, get the fuck out of here. First, <laughs> okay, first. Hold on. Hold on. That's, uh, that's certainly not it. And it's funny. Again, I said I was raised in a constitutional Christian nation and my parents were Jehovah's Witness and I had to do like Bible. Like I had a, a lady come to my house and do Bible study and all that bullshit. So it's not like it has nothing to do with that. I actually don't like I actually have never in actually a lot of the reason why I don't like religion is I don't like it. They can't sell me on it. Like that's the Aaron, thing. Like, Aaron, oh, stop her. Listen, Aaron, no, stop no, her. no. Let me tell you what happened. You fucking started it. Let me tell you the fucking story. I had this Jehovah's Witness lady that would come over for Bible study, right? With like the Watchtower magazine, the teacher from there. And she, when she was teaching me about what heaven would be, <laughs> that, that what we believe is Jehovah's Witness, she told me, she told me in heaven, you wouldn't recognize nobody. Let me explain. Let me tell you something. I don't I like said, that. What? She was like, fuck you. She was, I was like, I'm not going to know my Grammy. And she was like, no, people look different. I'm like, oh, well, I don't, I don't opt in. I don't subscribe to this. Like, you know, Biggie Smalls has a song when he goes, when I die, fuck it. I want to go to hell because I'm a piece of shit. It ain't hard to fucking tell. It don't make sense going to heaven with the goody goodies dressed in white. I like black Tims and blackity. And I'm like, heaven sounds whack. <laughs> like, you ever hear the niggas that are insisting they're going to heaven? The worst people like i i don't want to be there with you like church is the same way think about it you don't want to be you don't want to go to church nobody fucking wants to go to church other than fucking crazy people whose entire life is about nothing but religion and da-da-da. let's be fucking real how does heaven sound to you like what are the rules up there like think about the worst social setting where you can't be your real self you can't talk you can't you gotta find i want to go to <laughs> sounds mid like i don't know no one is like is no one allowed to say that that no one why don't heaven ever sound in, enticing it never sound like a place you want to be someone someone is typing a long comment right now mad as fuck about the disrespect that i've shown to religion you're in a episode. lot of trouble you're in but a whatever lot of trouble. whatever whatever did you ask me about not my me. life not me i have accepted the healing light Islam. Okay. I just don't like the idea. Like, if you die, imagine if you died last year and you didn't hear Kendrick drop not like us. I mean, I think stuff like that all the time. I think what you like that my Grammy's been dead for eight years, and I think about this all the time. Like, she would not fucking believe this nigga Donald Trump became president. Think about it. She doesn't know that shit happened. Like, that's so yeah, crazy. It is crazy. Like, I think really? about that all the time. Like, oh, I'll never I every time I'll be listening to Trap Soul by Bryson Tiller, like, wow, I'm not gonna hear this again. Like, if I die, like that's 
That's rough. Doesn't bother this me. This is LA bringing the a Dorito would kill someone from the 1400s conversation. <laughs> to the pod. A Victorian child would die if it listened to rap music. Uh, <laughs> listen again to our people in the audience. If this episode sucks, I take full accountability. Um, it's fine. We love it. We're having fun. Anyway, there's a conclusion to the MacBook story. Okay, let's hear it. Oh God, there's an uh, there's an update uh, updated post. I did some research specifically for repairing the screen for the MacBook and for her particular model. It's around $310 for the screen plus the labor. So I wrote her back saying that since she didn't accept my initial offer of $2,200, mm. I'm withdrawing that offer and offering to pay the repair cost. She sent me an email calling me a bitch and that she's going to take me to court. I got served a few days later and went to court. I told the judge I gave her three options to choose from, either to write her a check for a brand new one, which was $2,200, get her a refurbished one from Apple or a third party, or even used, which would be around $1,400, or three, fix her current MacBook since the screen is the only thing affected here and it would cost around $300 plus money for labor. I printed out the email I sent her and the mail she sent back refusing and demanding $2,700 and calling me a bitch and saying we'll go to court, plus screenshots for the price quotes from different websites <laughs> for a new and refurbished screen uh, for the particular model and gave it to the judge. I also told told him that when I offered at the very beginning to get her a new one from the Apple store, she said, no, I want the money in cash. When I told her I'd give her 2200 for a new one, she said, okay, but later came around asking for 2700 because she wants to upgrade. I tried to show him how it's clearly visible that she's trying to take advantage of me. She gave the judge an attitude the whole oh. time. Which no, really no, pissed no. the judge off. That's the word. I'm like, here where you hear the truth, right? That has nothing to do with the judge wanting to be on your side for justice and everything to do with who got a, who did not make the judge feel like a god. It's so like, crazy. It's Attitude, so crazy. the judge was like, okay, bitch. Yeah. The judge probably really be like this. that. The judge was like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. No, go ahead. I know, I know exactly what the judge <laughs> did too, which is there's. I'm sure this person was giving, was just saying ridiculous, rude things to the judge. And the judge was like thinking, all right, I'm about to give this lady like a hundred dollars. <laughs> Let's hear it. Proceed. Proceed, Aaron. I'm invested. I'm locked in. This person After listening like to it. both of us, she ruled that I pay 50% of the repair cost since she negligently left her laptop on the couch. <laughs> so I'll only be paying not more than 200 to 250 dollars yep, for the whole yep. thing. That's, yep. We love that. We love a petty judge. You, you this is just typical judge. You can't fuck with the judge. I love that. It's it's crazy that she was rude to the judge. No, no, it the isn't. The person that the person that she went to for like that she thought was going to bring her justice in twenty seven hundred dollars. She was like, I mean, it just shows how delusional how delusional some people are. No, you, know? you know she. You know she's white. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I'm glad, hey, hey, you said it. <laughs> I can't believe she actually went through the court thing. Think of Did she actually serve? I was surprised if, she actually if did. Somebody serve her. if somebody was first of all, it's insane that this person offered again, the 2200 was a crate that already was insane that they offered that much. But imagine not just taking that money. Talk about looking a gift horse in the mouth. Let me tell you, I'd have took that $2200 so fast and then gotten the laptop repaired at like, the hair shop I, and then pocket oh. the money. A hundred. Let's go, baby. Suits. I'd have gone to my boss. Like, I need this for like my boss job covered the repair costs of this computer. <laughs> and gone like Some geez. people just don't have that Sigma grind set. Why are you like this? Why must you be this way? I am this way because I have God in my life. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I get look at Aaron, like guys, you're gonna, you're gonna get my we're gonna boss wrap up the episode today. <laughs> Aaron said you're gonna fuck up everybody's paycheck. We're getting, we're getting the big, I, hook, the big hook that's pulling us off stage. The day I knew Al, uh, Aaron would, would 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 save me from myself is one time I wanted to I wanted to put out a video, and I sent Aaron the video, and Aaron came to me like, "Hey, you know I support you in everything you're doing, but I talked to Brooke, <laughs> and we've decided, you know, we'd like to be able to continue to get our paychecks. So if you." ruin everything and get canceled everyone will suffer 
Aaron was like, I don't, we don't think you should put out this video. And I was like, you know what? I will not. There's no person looking more out for you than the person who's telling you you're both going to fuck your bae jack up because you want to be talking foolishness. <laughs> like, I, I didn't, he didn't have to fight me on it. This, the minute he came to me, I was like, oh, I, I've said a lot of shit. If Aaron says I can't put this video out, I can't put it out. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, like, let's just go ahead and trash that. <laughs> Twitter was too rabid about that discussion. Okay. <laughs> Aaron said, nah, you should just sit this one out. We actually don't, we don't, we don't need you on this one. That's the end of, uh, that's the conclusion of today's episode. Let me remind everyone, we have the wonderful Patreon. Wonderful. Like how we, can, we can never leave when I want to leave, but when the white man's ready to be free. The I'm ready ends. to go. I'm, I'm <laughs> baby. I'm baby. <laughs> and also, I listen, that. next week's I love when you say everyone. I'm baby or when Jarvis says small bean. Small bean. Like. We have a Patreon. Please go support us. Support Brooke. She, her husband is uh, is a horrible man who steals all the money and gambles <laughs> all of it. And <laughs> and um. Oh, and finally, you know, interact, interact with the videos. We love you. Like them, comment, whatever you want. I don't care. We need you down there. And know that I love you, even if you are devoutly religious. Okay. She's I, lying. I do love you. Okay, please. Please, please don't comment me about how hurt and disappointed you are. Okay, I love you still. Save us from you. hell. It's not that serious. Save like, us. Actually, not let, to I told you, I don't, I don't have the answers. From damnation. Don't let my religious perception stop you or make you feel held back or like this isn't a safe space. You're allowed to be really. Don't be mad at bitches who don't want to go to heaven. That's more heaven for you. More heaven for you. No, I need right. you guys to save me. Please. Alex can't be saved, and all this pandering won't save you either, Alex. Hell for you. Thank <laughs> you.